വെൽക്കം ടു നിഷ് ന്യൂസ് വീക്ക്ലി ബ്രോഡ്കാസ്റ്റ് റീജണൽ ന്യൂസ് ക്വാറിങ് ആൻഡ് അതർ പ്രൊഹിബിറ്റഡ് ആക്ടിവിറ്റീസ് ആൻഡ് ദ റിസൾട്ട് ആൻഡ് എൻവയൺമെൻ്റൽ ഡാമേജസ് ഇൻ ദ എക്കോ സെൻസിറ്റീവ് സോൺസ് ഇ എസ് ഇസെറ്റ്സ് ഓഫ് കേരള വിൽ ബി സയൻറ്റിഫിക്കലി ഐഡൻറ്റിഫൈഡ് ഷോർട്ട്ലി വിത്ത് ദ സ്റ്റേറ്റ് ഗവൺമെൻറ് ഓൾ സെറ്റ് ടു മാപ്പ് ഇറ്റ്സ് ഈസി ഇസെറ്റ്സ് ആൻഡ് ദ ഫോറസ്റ്റ് ബൗണ്ടറീസ് ദ എക്സസൈസ് ഹെസ് ബിക്കം റെലവെൻറ്റ് ഇൻ ദ വേക്ക് ഓഫ് അലിഗേഷൻസ് ദാറ്റ് പ്രൊഹിബിറ്റഡ് ആക്ടിവിറ്റീസ് ഇൻക്ലൂഡിങ് ക്വാറിയിങ് a thriving in the easy assets causing irreparable environmental damage There has been a significant drop in liquor consumption among women in the age group of 15 to 49 in Kerala according to the National Family Health Survey NFHS 2019-21 released recently. As per the survey, the liquor consumption among women in the state has dropped to 0.3% from the 1.6% in the previous survey held in 2015-16. At the national level, 0.7% of women drink alcohol compared to 22.4% of men similarly the state has improved its position in the alcohol index of men with 26% of men drinking alcohol compared to 37% in the nfhs 2015-16 Food and Civil Supplies Minister G.R. Anil has said that social welfare organizations including orphanages and old age homes will continue to receive ration supplies from the states tied over allocations over various commodities. These institutions will receive additional rice in place of the wheat allocation that has been slashed by the sender. The government will supply ration from the tied over allocations this month until the center provides commodities under the welfare institutions and the hostel scheme Recently released Malayalam movie Kaduva has been receiving criticism from the audience for being insensitive towards differently able children. The State Commission for Persons with Disabilities had issued notices to the director of the movie Shaji Kailas and the producers based on a complaint filed by Parivar, an association of the parents of the differently able children. In the movie, the hero played by Prithviraj says that the sins done by people will affect the next generation badly after this dialogue a shot of a differently able child is shown in the movie this scene created a painful feeling among the viewers and the association filed a complaint the filmmakers have apologized about the unfortunate incident shaji kailas the director of the movie posted an apology on his facebook the actor prithviraj to apologize for the unintentional mistake The makers have reportedly removed the scene from the movie. Over to national news. The Employees Provident Fund Organization, EPFO, will consider and approve 
a proposal for setting up a central pension disbursal system at its meeting on July 29 and 30, paving the way for crediting the benefit into over 73 lakh pensioners' bank accounts in one go across India. Presently, over 138 regional offices of the EPFO disburse pensions to beneficiaries in the region separately. The National Disaster Relief Force, NDRF, has begun a nationwide survey of passenger cable cars and ropeway systems to find possible security flaws in them. The move comes against the backdrop of at least three reported ropeway accidents that took place in Jharkhand, Himachal Pradesh and Madhya Pradesh this year. Over to international news. Political parties in Sri Lanka are scrambling to form an all-party government a day after President Godabaya Rajapaksha and Prime Minister Renil Vikramasinghe pledged to resign in the wake of a historic citizen's protest. Sri Lankans are facing a serious economic crisis and they are lacking essentials such as food, fuel and medicines. The anti-government protests have been continuing for the past three months saying that the government is not capable of ruling the country. Prominent media groups from the BRICS, Brazil, Russia, India, China and South Africa Countries committed to stepping up dialogue and finding ways to generate strong synergies as they confront new common challenges from the COVID-19 pandemic to the impact of Russia's invasion of Ukraine. An action plan released following the fifth BRICS Media Forum has planned for joint training of journalists to explore the application of new technologies such as smart content production, smart broadcasting, satellite news and artificial intelligence hankers. Sports News Novak Djokovic wins 7th Wimbledon title and 21st Grand Slam. He's just behind the record of Rafael Nadal who has 22 Grand Slam titles. In the women's singles finals, Elena Rybakina, the Kazakh, won her first Grand Slam beating Ons Jabir in the finals. With this news, we come to the end of NISH News Weekly Broadcast. I am Monesha, ISL faculty at NISH. 
signing the news for you along with Ms. Sylvie Maximena, niche faculty. See you again next week. Thank you.